everyone, and welcome back to another video. I'm really excited about today's topic because it touches upon something incredibly relevant in our increasingly digital world, privacy and security online. We're going to do a deep dive into how to install Tails of Us onto pretty much any USB stick you have lying around. Now, why Tails? Tails stands for the Amnesic Incognito Live System. It's a complete operating system, based on the robust Debian Linux distribution, designed from the ground up to protect your privacy and anonymity. It forces your internet connections through the Tor network and, crucially, aims to leave no trace on the computer you use it on. Whether you're a journalist, an activist, or just someone who values their digital privacy, Tails is an invaluable tool. And this guide is fully updated for where we are right now, April 20th, 2025. Installing Tails isn't overly complex, but it does require careful attention to detail, especially because security is paramount here. Shortcuts can lead to vulnerabilities, so I've structured this tutorial into two distinct parts to make it easy to follow. This video, part one, is all about the preparation phase. Think of it as gathering your ingredients and checking their quality. We'll cover downloading the official Tails OS image file, performing the absolutely essential verification step to ensure it's safe and authentic, and identifying and downloading the tool we need to write Tails onto our USB stick. This part might take you maybe 15 to 30 minutes depending on your download speed and familiarity with the steps. Part 2 will be the hands-on part, using that tool to flash Tails onto the USB drive, configuring your computer to boot from it, and walking through the initial Tails setup screens. So, make sure you stick around for that one too. Alright, enough preamble. Let's get started with Part 1, Downloading and Verifying Tails OS. First things first, we need the core ingredient, the Tails OS image itself. And I cannot stress this enough, only download Tails from the official website, tails.net. I'll have this link prominently displayed in the video description below. Why the emphasis? Downloading from unofficial sources, forums, or file sharing sites is incredibly risky. You could unknowingly download a version that's been tampered with, containing malware or backdoors, completely defeating the purpose of using Tails in the first place. Stick to the official source. Okay, whether you chose the direct download or BitTorrent, once that 1.5 GB file is safely on your computer, we move to arguably the most critical step of this entire preparation phase, verifying your download. Please, I urge you, do not skip this. Fantastic! Assuming you've got your green light, the verification passed, and you have a genuine, intact Tails USB image file, we need one final piece of software before we can move to part two. We need a utility to correctly write this .image file onto your USB stick. For this task, we highly recommend using a tool called Balen Etcher. Why Etcher? It has a very clean, three-step interface. Select image, select target drive, flash, hard to get wrong. Etcher includes safeguards to help prevent you from accidentally selecting your computer's internal hard drive as the target, a potentially. Works identically on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, no hidden costs or spyware. While other tools exist like Rufus on Windows or DD on Linux, Mac OS, Etcher provides a great balance of ease of use and safety, especially if you're not super technical. So, head over to the official Balen Etcher website again, only download from the official source, and grab the version for your operating system. The link, naturally, is waiting for you down in the video description. Download and install Balen Etcher just like you would any other application. Okay, let's take a breath and recap what we've accomplished in part 1. This was all about laying the groundwork. First, we understood the importance of Tails and navigated to the official website to download the correct USB image file version 6.14.2 as of April 2025. Second, we performed the absolutely essential verification step, confirming our downloaded file is genuine and uncorrupted using the methods provided by the Tails developers. 
Third, we identified Bailinature as our tool of choice for writing the image to a USB drive and downloaded it from its official source. You've successfully gathered and checked your materials. That concludes part one. Before you move on, make sure you have a spare USB stick ready. Tails recommends a minimum of 8 gigabytes, but honestly, a slightly larger one might be handy. Also, if you have a choice, using a faster USB 3.0 or newer drive will make Tails run much more smoothly than an older USB 2.0 stick. Thank you so much for sticking through this detailed preparation phase. In part two, we'll get hands-on, we'll launch Balenetcher, select our verified image and target USB drive, flash tails onto the stick, and then crucially, reboot our computer and configure it to boot from the USB drive for the very first time. We'll see the initial tails welcome screen and configure some basic settings. All the essential links, tails download, tails verification guide, Balenetcher download, are listed clearly in the video description below. If you found this part helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss part to end other privacy-focused content. Let me know in the comments if you had any issues during the download or verification. Thanks again for watching, stay safe online, and I'll catch you in part two.